Hey y'all, the real Jimmy Roberts one here. And I'm sick of seeing all the rumors about this coronavirus, COVID-19. Everything that happens in the world is not a conspiracy. Now, I'm not saying that this isn't one. Do I think that there are shenanigans involved with this? Yes, I do. But what are they? By whom and why? I don't know. I think it's pretty obvious something is going on. But do you really think that someone who actually knows precisely what is going on behind the scenes of this is actually putting it out there for people to propagate on Facebook and Twitter, Twitter or whatever? I don't, I don't, I don't tweet, so whatever that is. Do you really think that? Yet I keep reading all these supposed facts about what's going on behind the scenes. This channel is not about propagating a bunch of rumors and conspiracy theories. Oh, and here's one I saw, and this one really doesn't make much difference, but COVID does not stand for Chinese-oriented viral infectious disease. Okay? I think it stands for, it's a combination of, when well, you take corona from coronavirus, the CO, VI comes from virus, coronavirus, disease, the D, COVID. It's a combination of that. It's not, people just make stuff up all the time. There are some things that have happened through the years that are known conspiracies, as, as far as I'm concerned. You've only got to have two or more people get together and plan something underhanded for it to be a conspiracy. Let's move on to the regular part of the show now and update you on something that has been seen on Mars for quite some time now. It's an artificial object, or two actually, and we have some new information on it. And before that, these next two people might be crazy. One of them I respect very much because uh, she is a registered nurse and at this moment is working in the hospital. Just this. Okay, so those who are new to the channel, just to catch you up real quick, the rover Curiosity is sitting on the surface of Mars. We know this, and it is investigating a decimated civilization. They are not telling us about this. I'm sure they have their reasons. But the images also are not real clear due to the fact that they are obfuscated. They are made to be confusing. And we believe this is done by a computer, algorithm, advanced software. And if you would like to learn more about what we believe is going on here, the video just prior to this one, uh, we have information on that. The object and objects seen in this image were taken by the rover Curiosity on Sol 1452. This image of the same set of objects was taken two Martian days later. That will be Sol 1454. Now, these are both left mast cam images. The left mast cam tends to take the wide angle shots. There is no apparent right mast cam imagery available. However, these two images from different days, even though they're both from the left mast cam, they're slightly different perspectives. So that really comes into play when we create 3D stereoscopic imagery from these mast cam images. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, this is a mosaic made from images from Sol 1454. Let's zoom in. Find that object that really stands out that people like to talk about. And here is a mosaic made from images from Sol 1452. And I think you can see why we end up having a slightly different perspective here. And folks, when you look at images like this, you need to remember that a lot of what you are seeing in actuality is of metal. These images are changed, they're falsified, but the basic shape usually remains. Underneath the obfuscation are archeological ruins, and we're really gonna concentrate on this. Now, a lot of people make the mistake of thinking this is one solid object, but it is not. 
and here we isolate what is actually two objects and now we isolate the top object this is one discrete object and this lower object is a little closer to us and has some very obvious obfuscation and these are definitely two discrete objects and the reason we know is from the stereoscopic 3D and here is a third object of interest well size does matter and we took measurements this object is about 1.4 feet across that area and here is where these measurements were made from the left right navigational camera to do this we actually had to check the elevation increase using a profile measurement so what is the distance from the rover to those objects it's 28 meters 92 feet or 31 yards that's not very far when you think of it in yards think about it you can pretty much lob a football 31 yards well you know if you got the wind behind you and there's measurements taken here for reference if you'll notice the line is about the same length all the way to the top so you can kind of see how this works very nearest is 0.38 meters while a line of the same length is 16.22 meters at the back and we have a successful measurement all the way back to here is 208 meters that's 227 yards more than two football fields it's a little ways back there folks so looking at the other image now I think you could pretty much estimate since that top larger object is about 1.4 feet from the bottom to the top it kind of give you an idea about the size of the rest of the objects around it and that one at the bottom you can really see that obfuscation here it's almost as if it's just painted over with gray so this is a navigational camera mosaic and we were able to get a measurement for the height of this thing but we had to use two separate images remember these shots like this are made up of multiple singular images there was not a single image that had the entire mound butte whatever you want to call it in it so we had to use a couple of them and basically add the heights together taking profile measurements actually and the height of this is going to be between 22 and 25 feet and that group of objects we've been looking at is right here and in this nav camp single image you can see examples of the measurements that we took including a section right across about nearly midway to the top and you see that's 14 and a half meters across or 48 and a half feet okay now that we know how big this thing is I want to utilize one of Keith Laney's renders to show you a couple of things and Folks, I know I'm going to sound like a broken record, but you have to please remember what we're looking at is a lot different than what is really there. You can't pay a whole lot of attention to the texture. Mainly, it's just the shape. All we can do is look at the shapes and look for places to where this, what we believe is an automatic obfuscation process has made mistakes. But I do want to show you some things that stand out, such as this. I find this quite interesting. You tell me what you think about it. In fact, this area seems to be a place where the uh, algorithm really made some mistakes. It seems to have a lot more trouble with areas like this that are up closer to the camera. And here is an example. You can see it completely missed this area. All of this has been rockified and it completely missed this area. We've got several different colors and possible substances down here. And if you look a little further over this way, you'll see it completely missed the edges here. And in this object right here and all along the edge. While this one, you can tell the shape is pretty squared off, but it completely rockified it. I think we've invented a word, rockify. Over here further to the left, it's another area where it has just completely missed this and let's not leave here yet because we just noticed something here let's zoom in look at this this has been rockified new word but look around the edge look at this and here folks and here 
Every bit of this should look something like this. I'm telling you the truth. You should follow the link in the description and look around for yourself. And again, all you can do is look for shapes and for places where the mistakes are made. And these areas closer down here seem to be the ones where it had more trouble, even though this is made up of individual pictures. These were further away when the shots were taken. These were closer, even though they're individual shots, and it seems to have more trouble with them. Something else I want you to look at is on all these images of these supposed buttes, if you start looking around the edge, you're gonna find things protruding, and I'm not just talking about this, I'm talking about here. Smaller objects through here, 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 You'll see this repeated throughout. We went ahead and skipped up to the top of it, and you're going to notice a, a larger object sticking over the top here. And these, once again, those are anomalies of the camera. Please ignore it. Now we've skipped over to the right side again, and here we go again. Do you see this? Let's move up just a little bit. Here we see more and little fine areas too. Let's go up a little further. In fact, if you will look on in here, you'll see spots like this, things protruding. That's part of the structure that is being exposed, I believe. It's really hard to tell on a flat image. Now let's go back over here and look for just a second. I want you to look in the background. And I'm sure you can see this and you're really going to like this in 3D but take a really good look. And I hope you can see how much artificial stuff is actually exposed. And there are supports for this. Can you see it? Here's one right here. This is probably one, probably one, but I'm going to say this is definitely a support right here. And you saw the very defined support that we showed you in the previous presentation. I do want everyone to go and look around this. Remember the things I've told you, and I, I want to show you one more area that's its just amazing. Look at this. Obfuscated just enough to really frustrate you. I don't know what the hell that is. This one has left a lot of metal on it. Very exposed. Now, check this out. I'm pretty sure I saw a few completely exposed items such as this one all metal it completely missed it then here areas like here back here a little bit here it is missed I think it completely missed this one and then look at this now I want you to really notice when you're looking at this all of this brown I've contended is fake the software did this. It has completely covered up this area. This is not dirt, sand. Oh, and I want to leave you with this one right here. You know, no telling what that really is. No telling. Metal exposed here. I want everyone to go look and tell me what you think about it. The 3D stereoscopic imagery for this video is now available at marsfam.net in the 3D section. Folks, go look at it. You're going to love it. I promise you.